So let's talk about healing after toxic relationships or being around or being raised by narcissistic people. What do we mean by healing? And what I want to know today is where are you in your healing? What has helped you? Where are you? Where do you see growth and change? So this channel is really about education for understanding things related to narcissism and understanding the manipulations and the toxic patterns and the red flags and all of that so that you can learn to see for yourself in your life people to avoid, people to get away from, ways of handling it and all of that, so that you're not taking the narcissism of somebody else personally, right? And so that you can educate yourself to get free and heal. But one thing that is the passion that I have personally is in helping people beyond that point, getting to where they start to see who they are as human beings and start to become their authentic self and to live lives from that place not from a place of surviving and struggling because of toxic people. So let me know in the comments where you are with your healing and where you have seen growth and change for yourself. Growth and change is what happens if you continue on a path of healing from toxic relationships and narcissism in your life and narcissistic people. One of the things that you can take from the trauma that you've experienced and from the relationships that you've had or the way that you were raised is that you have the opportunity to struggle through i know that sounds funny <laughs> but struggle through the parts that are difficult and come out the other side a stronger healthier happier human being so some ways in which for myself that has happened is I no longer fall into the triggers that happen in my life blindsided. I now understand that the triggers that happen are going to happen and I have coping skills to deal with them, which is cognitive right on one level, but I also have a deeper awareness that I am not my trauma and that I am not the lies that this trigger is telling me about myself. Does that make sense? Because what happens when we're triggered is often we go into, you know, the spiral and we end up self gaslighting or self sabotaging ourselves. So I no longer fall into the belief that those self sabotaging thoughts held me in for so long. I'm able to find peace within myself by myself that is a big one so to be able to feel comfortable in my own skin and go through life on when i'm on my own or even around people feeling like i'm okay and that's a huge one that took a shift in awareness to let go of the programming that was placed in my head about myself okay so I want to know from you, though, more importantly, where have you changed and where are you hoping to go and what are you hoping to achieve with your healing for yourself in your life? What's your goal? What's your aim? Let's talk. Let's keep this thread positive as we can. And we'll be back next time with more about understanding narcissists. If you haven't done so, hit subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up. And if you need coaching or group coaching, you can find me in the main description of every video. My name is Lise Colucci, and I'm here to help you with things related to understanding, healing from narcissists and toxic people in your life. You guys take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.